YouTube, this is Justin, aka Demonic Sweaters, here with another Linux slash Reaper tutorial. And uh, just to remind you that this video and many of my other videos are sponsored by anthillrecordings.bandcamp.com. If you get a chance, please check that out. The link's down below. Now on with this tutorial. Um, this one is actually going to be about how to use uh, different types of audio plugins within the native version of Reaper, the Linux native version, rather. Um, now, in case you're not familiar, uh, Linux, or Reaper in Linux right now, it's still in the beta version, although it runs really well. Um, but right now, it only works with Linux VSTs as far as plugins. Now, if we go into our settings here, we can see under plugins, we have VST, and then you can put in your different uh, folders here that uh, you want to scan for uh, VSTs. Now, that's all well and good. And there are some uh, pretty cool VSTs. Well, there's quite a, quite a few, actually, some cool VSTs for Linux. I recently made a video about the uh, Linux Studio plugin suite, which is really great. And those are Linux VSTs, so they work within Reaper uh, natively. But there are a ton of cool plugins for Linux uh, that are either LADSPAs or LV2 format. And those are both uh, Linux native formats but are not currently supported by Reaper yet. However, you can still run these plugins. In addition to that, you can also run Windows uh, VST plugins in Reaper by doing what I'm about to show you. And uh, it's really not that difficult to do either. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you're gonna need is something called Carla. Now, if we open up a terminal here, now I'm using, um, I'm using, Ubuntu 19.04 uh, and uh, all of these all of this software is just available within the uh, default repositories for Ubuntu 19.04 so uh, depending on which distribution you're using you may need to download Carla in a different way but what you're going to want to do is install Carla just C-A-R-L-A and then you're going to want to do a search uh, for Carla Bridge uh, which is basically I just did by typing sudo or apt search Carla Bridge and all of those results came up there. I've installed most of them already, but there's a couple that I still didn't install. So let's go ahead and install those. And Carla Bridge. Wine 32. ask you for your password of course you'll probably want to do a sudo apt update uh, before you do this which I didn't do but it's always good practice to do that um, so okay we have those set up now and uh, I already have Carla up and working uh, but one of the things you're gonna need to know in order to use Carla successfully within Reaper is where the VST uh, or carla.vst is installed on your system. So, okay, so in my situation, it's actually in uh, root, you know, just slash lib vst. And if we go in here, we'll see a folder called carla vst. Now, you don't need to do anything with this other than just know this file path. And then once you go, once you have that, you're going to add that into your options in Reaper. Just go to preferences. And then right here, you can see that I already added it in my VST plugins uh, search path. Now, the way that you add multiple paths here is just by using a semicolon. So you can, if you have more than one path, like right there I have home Justin W dot VST, home Justin W dot VST three, and then uh, lib slash VST. And that will show Reaper where to search for all of those plugins. Once you have that, uh, lib or wherever you have your uh, VST for Carla uh, installed and that will just depend on how it was installed or what type of uh, distribution of Linux you're running uh, will uh, depend on where that actually ends up on your system but once you know where it is put it in there and then now if we go up to like if we pull up an effects window for one of these let's just go on my kick drum here and then if we go to add we can search for Carla and then you'll see Carla Rack, and then I can just click OK there. And now what this is, is basically just a, another effects rack where I can go to Add Plugin, and then we'll see all of our plugins on our system. And, well, let me clear my 
uh, search term here because I was looking for a limiter earlier. But so as you can see, we have all these different type of effects. We have internal, uh, LADSPA, DSSI, LV2, and VST. Now if we go here to refresh, you can see that it gives you a little search box and you can just click scan and now it'll rescan all of the uh, folder locations that you have set up in Carla. Which brings me to my next point, um, which I probably should have showed you this before showing you this, but you will need to configure Carla as well. And what I mean by that is just tell Carla where your plugins are located, kind of like you did with Reaper. So if we go to close here, and then we go, let's go ahead and close this as well. And then if you just click on configure Carla, uh, you can define all of your paths right here. If we just go to um, paths then you can select the different type of plugins most of these will already be correct um, the only ones that i had to add was under vst i created a folder for my windows vsts right here so i just put in home justin w win vst and i created that directory myself and so any windows plugins that i download i just you know just download them to that folder and then when i scan using carla again it'll find them so once we go in here to add plugin now what I could do is I'll just show you that you can load a Windows plugin because I have the Tau uh, plugins installed here, T-A-L. Uh, so there's some pretty cool free plugins, actually, if you're not sure, or, or if you didn't know about these, definitely check them out. Um, now, the one thing I will say about Windows plugins that I noticed in Carla is sometimes you get some weird latency issues, and they can cause almost like a flanging effect. Uh, so if that happens, you just basically just can't use it unfortunately but you know not all of them will do that some of them work fine other ones have issues but i think the tall reverb plugin works but i'm not totally sure let's just go ahead and play back a little bit and i'm going to solo my kick drum seems to be fine if we click this little gear icon it'll bring up uh the actual uh, interface or the graphic interface this would actually be much cooler on the snare drum than on the kick drum but you get the idea um, so this is a great way to add a lot of new plugins to the uh, Linux native version of Reaper because like I said, it only supports uh, native VSTs at the moment. I'm sure that the, the guys at Reaper will get it supporting all the other formats pretty soon. Um, it's amazing the work that they've done on this DAW uh, in general. I mean, it is by far, it's only been out, you know, not that long, but it already is the best DAW for Linux, in my opinion. I mean, it's just hands down, no contest. I mean, not only for Linux, it's one of the best DAWs out there, period, for Mac, Linux, and Windows, because it runs on everything. And that's what's really, really cool about it. Um, I've started projects in Windows, and then finished them in, in Linux, and Mac, and like switched them all over the place. And aside from having different plugins that aren't compatible sometimes, everything else works um and there's never a problem so that's really cool um so yeah i think i went over everything uh basically you're going to want to install carla you want to install all the different carla bridges and then configure reaper to find the path uh where carla.vst is located on your system and to figure that out uh, you kind of have to dig around a little bit i I didn't know. I just sort of searched around in the usual locations. You know, I thought maybe, you know, lib or user lib would have it. Ended up being in lib uh, root lib uh, slash VST is where I found mine. Um, so, yeah, pretty cool stuff. And if you guys, guys have any questions or anything, just feel free to post them down below. And uh, if you get a chance, please check out anthillrecordings.bandcamp.com. That's where all my music is located. And I'm trying to get people to go there rather than talk about Patreon now because it seems like I'm kind of trying to send people too many different places. And uh, if you could just go to my label, that would be good enough. So anyway, have a great day, everybody. Mm -hmm.